Hi guys, welcome back to Emerge Kenya TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you so much and we appreciate you for all the support that you guys have shown. God bless you. Uh, today guys, I want to go over some questions that have come uh, through about the DV Rotary program, also known as the Green Card. And I wanted to uh, answer them and I decided to do a video and instead of just answering to one person, you know, like when I answer them together, it might help a lot more people than just answering to one person individually. So somebody asked, what's the DV Rotary program? Um, the DV Rotary program is a program from the United States of America Department of State that admits about 55,000 people to the United States to live there and work there every year. Uh, and I would encourage you if you haven't applied uh, or filled the application to do it. Uh, you have until November 8th, 2022 to do that. So you have a few more days. So uh, I would encourage you to take advantage of that program. I've done several videos about this program and I would um, encourage you to check them out. I'll leave the link down below in the description of this video. So go check them out and ask, ask any questions that you might have and I will answer them as soon as I can and to the best of my ability. Please remember to like, to share, to leave us a comment and subscribe if you haven't yet. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do that by joining the membership or by using the thanks button down below. Thank you so much for your support. I'll quickly go over the application process uh, and the things that you need to make sure that you do them correctly. Uh, the first one is your name. Pay attention to entering your names correctly just as they appear on your birth certificate or on your passport. Also the marital status, you need to, uh, to fill that correctly, uh, whether you're married, single, divorced, uh, separated, or widowed. Um, make sure that, that you are feeling that correctly and telling the truth about that. The other thing that you need to make sure that you, uh, you, you feel correctly is your dependents. These are your kids, your spouse, and even any adopted kids that you might have that are under the age of 21 should be listed whether they live with you or they don't intend to moving to the United States, you still need to list them. Otherwise, you have issues when it comes to the application process if you don't list them. Uh, the other thing that you need to pay uh, attention to is the photo. Make sure you are following all the photo requirements of the DV Rotary program. Uh, the photo issue is a big deal because most people get disqualified because the photos don't match the requirements that they ask for. So I'd encourage you to, um, you can pay someone to take a, a photo or you can use even your phone, but make sure you, you, you know how to do that and uh, you're doing it correctly. You can reach out if you need uh, help with uh, taking a photo, I would guide you on doing that. Uh, and also there's a photo tool and I will try to leave the link down below that you can check whether your photo matches uh, the, the requirements. And guys, I'll be looking down at the questions. Uh, so if you see me looking away from the camera, I'm looking at those questions that have been asked uh, by some of you. Somebody asked, my wife and my kids don't want to move to the United States of America. Should I still list them on the application? The answer is yes. You should list them even if they don't want to move there. If you don't list them, you'll be disqualified because you didn't tell the truth. So I would encourage you to list them even if they don't intend on moving. It's not a must that if you list them, they have to move to the United States of America. Another question that was asked I have made a mistake while applying for um, for the DV Rotary program. Uh, should I fill another application? The answer is no. Filling as multiple entries will result you to being disqualified. If you did a mistake while filling the application, I would encourage you to just let it go. Don't fill another application because that would disqualify you. Um, so what you can do is uh, when you when you are selected, you can do an affidavit uh, explaining why you made those mistakes. Uh, another question that was asked, um, what are my chances of winning? Uh, that, your chances of winning, I, it's hard to tell, 
but I know people who have won and I know you might know some people who have won so the chances are there but they are very low but I would still encourage you to uh, still apply because you never know you might be one of those who are selected but the last few years especially if you're from Africa half of those who were selected are from Africa so that tells you that uh, there's a high chance of especially if you are watching this and you're in Africa, of you being selected uh, for the DV Rotary program. Another question that was asked, and it doesn't uh, relate to the DV Rotary program application process, but somebody asked about, do I need a host um, for the DV Rotary program? Usually when you, um, when you go through the interview, they will require you to have a, a host to host you when you arrive in the United States. When you are filling the application, you don't need the, the host, but you will need a host to move to the United States of America. Somebody asked, can my spouse fill a separate application? And the answer to that is yes. So that's a way to increase your chance of winning. So I would encourage you, if you're married, to fill separate uh, application, but make sure you're listing each other in those applications question that was asked can I apply if you haven't graduated from high school the answer is yes you can still apply if you don't have a high school certificate you can still apply for the DV Rotary program but you need two years of work experience in a course that requires this uh, training that's like uh, if you are a plumber and you went to school and you can have a certificate to show that you are a plumber or an electrician a saloonist uh, do you call them saloonist? I guess so. Somebody asked, I'm married, but I'm separated from my spouse. Do I still need to list them in the application? The answer is yes. If you are not, if you don't have any court documents to show that you are divorced uh, or legally separated, you still need to list them, even if you're not living with them. So if you are separated and you're not living together, I'll still encourage you to list your spouse in the application process. That doesn't mean that they will move with you to the United States of America if you get to win the, the Rotary program. Him. Somebody asked, I have two names on my birth certificate. How do I go about uh, applying? So if you have two names uh, on your birth certificate, you uh, you just list your first name and, you, and the other name as the last name. You can just keep the middle name. There is uh, an option there to say that there is no middle name. So I won't fill any other name if it's not in my legal documents. Somebody asked, do I need a passport uh, to apply for this DV Rotary program? And the answer is no. This year you don't need a passport to apply for the DV Rotary program. But if you don't have a passport, I would encourage you to start the process of obtaining a passport because uh, you will need it in the interview process. So I would encourage you to start uh, you know, getting a passport for you and your dependents and your spouse. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful to, uh, to you and to your loved ones. And I would encourage you to share this uh, video with uh, people in your life who can be helped and who would find this video helpful to them. I would encourage if you haven't applied for the DV Rotary program to do it. And uh, you have until November 8th to do that uh, application. And I wish you all the best in your application process. And also, if you are selected, I wish you all the best in the interview process. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next video, have a good one. Be blessed. Be kind to someone and cheers.